What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a very exciting hobby feature for you. Today is part one of painting chevrons using the airbrush. And let me tell you what, if there's anything I know how to paint, it's painting chevrons. <laughs> I have a lot of Iron Warriors and I love painting chevrons. So I dug way back into the spiky bits video archive and found a tantalizing tutorial for you all to show you how to make basically painting yellow easy uh, much less chevrons and doing some detail and things like that so it's a two-part series today is part one basically how to airbrush and doing the colors and laying down the foundations part two is going to be basically doing the detail work because you do have to go back and do a little bit of work you don't have to but if you want to if you want to make take it to the next level past tabletop you definitely want to take a look at doing that and depending on what you painted it on you may need to do a little weathering effects and things like that as well so you don't want to you know you don't want to fake the funk if the rest of the model looks great and it's a little dirty because you did some weathering and then you do some chevrons you got to go back and weather those chevrons too so I'm going to show you how to do that in part two but before we get into all that First of all, make sure you stay in the trenches, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports and the hobby tutorials for exclusive content and early access videos. Become a veteran of the long war today. Another thing I always do is I do a bunch of shout outs to folks that have supported the video tutorials and hobby features and things that we do here on spiky bits and actually last month September we had a bunch of new folks jump on the patreon which is a way to help support become a patron of the arts and support the things that we're doing here at spiky bits you know all this all this stuff it isn't always about the money but it takes money to do the things we do here and uh, you know <laughs> it's not cheap but that's okay I love doing it my hobby has quickly become helping everybody else with their hobby and I love it I love to be able to give back and do the things that I do on a daily basis so first off thank you guys for your support and for you know just reading and tuning in and hitting play on all these great videos because if you didn't I, I wouldn't do this <laughs> right off the bat so uh, first off we got some new supporters like I said we got Jugger G uh, another uh, big supporter of the long war and things like that and then we got Arie, uh, Mikhail, Granite, Cabin, and David B thank you guys so much for your support we super appreciate it couldn't do it without you so without further ado, ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial because I burned a bunch here on the intro and I want to get right to the tutorial itself. So part one coming right up. All right, so here we go. Basically, you're just going to grab your part and the first thing you want to do is black out with a steady hand all of the parts that are going to be where your chevron is going to be so that whole area there i just applied a little chaos black and then i taped it off with some low tack uh blue painters tape you can get that stuff 3m makes it elmer's makes it everybody in the mom seems to make it then i got the tech edging technology here tamaya makes some edging tape that's really good it's got three different sizes and depending on the project you just basically pull it out you don't have to cut things down you don't have to mess around with a knife or anything and there it is you can see it right there just get in do your uh, tape out symmetrically and make sure it's all stuck in really good now first color up is gonna be Reaper orange brown now orange brown is basically a yellow brown uh, browns can be basically started off any sort of way but this is based on yellow so it's gonna be great it's gonna be it's gonna make a really good base coat for all those yellows that I'm gonna do over top of it the problem is that it's a light color so you're gonna have to do multiple coats so that's where the airbrush comes in handy you just basically blast it all just hose it down you know just just hit it just go wide open on the throttle get in there and get a nice good solid coat with it uh, you might have to do a couple of coats after it dries. That's why I have multiple parts. Like you see me switching back between my two front plates for the Wyvern. Um, it's it's really good. So if you have multiple parts, you know, you're doing a bunch of shoulder pads and things, it works out super clutch. The first highlight color is going to be Vallejo's new Game Air Golden Yellow that I guess came out about this time last year. Now what you want to do is start aiming it towards the top of the tape because you want it to be lighter as you progress up. So you can see there I'm hitting it towards the top of the tape. Um, basically aiming I guess about halfway up the brown area but but still enough to get the tape and not splash over onto the one above it so again this is a yellow 
it's a lighter color it's going to require more uh coats to go on than than most of the stuff out there i feel like but you know don't be afraid to do multiple coats to get it up to the point where you like it you don't want it to be too bright but you want it to be a, a nice solid brightness i feel like and it's going to start as the coats build up underneath it's going to really start to show through you're going to be able to see the the progression of colors and conversely if you don't do multiple coats you're going to notice that you have a, a dimmer and a darker kind of yellow on there which is fine for some of you folks you know maybe you want that darker chaosy kind of look um this one i took a little bright because i was using it for an imperial guard you know kind of regiment that would probably yeah, keep their shit in order i feel like so i wanted to make sure it popped and made a good contrast to the rest of the vehicle which was gray um, and then of course all the weathering was done in a brown so i feel like you know i wanted i wanted to try to get this as bright as i could without it to be overpowering so that being said the next color up is vallejo game air uh, moon yellow which is the the precursor i guess the um descendant of bad moon yellow from the old citadel range so it's a nice yellow it really pops it's not quite as bright as i would like it now the trick to this is aiming towards the top of the tape not necessarily the middle of the area where we are aiming the golden yellow so you want to just basically aim at the tape itself so you get that nice progression of depth going up the up the chevron tree so to speak so again multiple coats are going to be needed as you know you can tell by my glove as the overspray starts to build up because of multiple successive coats that it starts looking like those dishpan uh gloves now because i'm blasting like full throttle on some of these base coats here i noticed that the airbrush was getting a little gummy and that you know the, the button there so don't be afraid you know to get out some of your uh oil this is uh hops number nine i love this stuff use it for my gun to clean my gun it's cleaner lubricator protector so i just put some in there to try to um ungum it work it work it out a little bit because it's starting to get gummy so don't be afraid you know mid project to get in there now the final yellow is citadel's flash gets yellow which is a relatively new yellow um but it definitely pops it's got just the right amount of white in it to really make it shine i feel like now you can tell looking at the the work i'm doing there and now i'm aiming at the very tippy tops of the tape itself which is okay because you don't want to get too crazy with it because you're going to do these cutbacks you're going to grab your reaper orange brown again you're going to make sure you get a nice dark depth uh orange brown there and it's there's not a lot of yellow in it and you're going to start cutting back so you're going to aim towards the bottom of the tape now and what that's going to do is that's going to build that contrast back for the oversprays from the yellow so you see there i'm aiming at the bottom of the tape and that's why it's good to go with the yellow towards the top of the tape because if you get a little overspray up onto the next chevron up it's going to be okay because you're going to come back and you're going to cut it back with this reaper orange brown and sometimes you know that's why it's really important to go back and, and cut your paint cut your colors back so you get that progression of contrast there and you can see me i'm going very very deliberate you see i'm not like you know going wide open i'm doing you know steady i'm starting to the left i'm going to the right in short spurts very steady very precise application of paint i'm not like hosing it on now this is sped up like three times or whatever but you can tell it is definitely more controlled than you know just blasting the yellows and stuff on earlier because i didn't have to care you know if i got overspray on things there's no big deal not you know not too big of a deal there but now you want to be a little bit more controlled the cool thing with yellow too is that it's so light that the, the 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 contrast and the layers go over top of each other so well that you really don't have to build it up as much back towards the top so this is probably a nice good progression we're probably good here you can kind of tell i'm looking at it and i'm eyeballing it i'm like is it good is it good i don't know i kind of feel like it's good uh, i don't know maybe i'll peel it back see if it see how it looks because the contrast between that and the black underneath is really what's going to tell you if you got a winner here and so i do pull it back and boom there it is it looks great really good progression of yellows off from the brown very well done i feel like um you know there is a little bit of overbleed from the yellow onto the black because you know the tape wasn't done 100 percent perfect it's very hard to do but that being said that's what we're going to show you some of the highlight techniques this is not done right here you can tell the the armor plating around 
the wyvern uh, front armor plate is done itself, but the actual hazard striping is not done. We need to get in there, we need to do some edging, we need to do some weathering, we need to match it back to the armor plates itself. And also, you know, there's some studs, there's some rivets there. So it's like, well, do we do the rivets? Do we not do the rivets? Do we just kind of let it ride? So it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a thing there where you're just like, mm, I don't know, do I let it ride? Do I not let it ride? And at the end of the day, you know, I feel like it's not a good idea to let it ride. Depending on how, um, you know, how, how much you, I mean, when you look at it under the light here, you can definitely tell it's kind of not a finished product. So I feel like if you're going, if you're starting at that level and then going back and doing the, the detailing, we really need to step it up a notch. And that's what we're going to show you in the next video here. So part two coming soon on Spiky Bits.